I'm putting a huge seizure warning right up front because that's what these dice are basically designed to do. They are flashy, they are colorful, and honestly, they are absolutely gorgeous looking. And not only are they flashy, they actually have Bluetooth features as well. So let's take a look at the Pixels Electronic Dice Kickstarter by Jean Simonet. I'm lucky enough to be friends with this wonderful human being, so he sent me out a super mega special alpha preview sample of two D20s. We're going to take a look at the Onyx Black and Aurora Sky D20s today, and each box that you get is going to come with a charging cable as well as carrying pills that you keep your dice. Oh, whoop, okay, we're going to pretend I didn't drop those, start over, and they come with carrying pills to keep your dice in. Each individual die is going to have their own little pill. They help charge your die and prevent it from being on by having the cap on top. This way you don't have to worry about your die running out of batteries whenever you're taking it from place to place, so all you got to do is pop that top on and you're good to go. Now obviously these dice are very very pretty but before we get too far into the pretty and how the pretty works let's go ahead and take a look at how the dice themselves work. The lowest number on each die in this case the d20 has a wireless charging coil embedded to the bottom of it. This way when you place it on the base you can charge it wirelessly. The top has some device that helps let the die know when it needs to turn off. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I thought it was magnets but I couldn't seem to get anything to work with magnets. The bottom has that little charging coil and the top has has some device that connects to the top that basically tells the die, hey, don't be on right now. So you can set your die inside the top of the cap with the high number facing down to save battery even further while playing if you're going to have a really long session. So that's how the dice works with its pill charging case. Hope that was easy to swallow. So let's take a look at the dice themselves and see what the electronics are telling these die to do. There's a little system inside each die that can tell which side of the die is facing up. With that information, the die then changes color depending on which face is currently the topmost face. And this is all 100% customizable, which we'll get into later in this video. This is definitely catering to my inner PC keyboard RGB backlit gamer dreams because this die is absolutely wild looking. And every time I roll it, whatever it lands on, it will be that color every single time. So for how it's programmed now, I get a beautiful pulsing rainbow light show to show off the fact that I just rolled a critical hit. Now, as far as how these sound and look on the table, I think the Onyx one is absolutely brilliant. You can see the numbers perfectly clear. The only reason you kind of can't see the numbers here is because of the camera, because it's an RGB LED light shining directly at the lens of the camera. It's very hard to read. However, the Aurora Sky one is near impossible for the camera to read. You can see here when it's zoomed in, there's just so many lights that there's no way that the camera is going to be able to focus properly, but we still want to show what it looks like on the table. You can see on camera, you can't read that at all. In person, I got to say it's not much better while the lights are going. Going. I think that the numbering system on there looks perfectly fine once the lights stop, but the lights are really, really bright and they can take a beating. I throw these things pretty hard at the table and there's no damage to them at all. That's actually something that they advertise. You don't have to be gentle with these. Now, I know what you're thinking, can you use these to play in the dark? And absolutely not. They are far too bright to be able to read the numbers on them, at least for the Aurora Sky one. Now, I've never felt more like a wizard casting light than having this object in my hand and being able to pick it up and move it around. I was absolutely giddy playing with this stuff, but for the Aurora Sky, it is very hard to read. However, the Onyx Black one, where there's some darkness to contrast, you actually can totally read the numbers just fine in the dark. So if you have a full set of this stuff and you want to have a literal rave party or a Megatron themed cybernetic D&D session, you got it right here, buddy. Now I'm going to show you both of these dice together being rolled both in the dark and in the light so you can see possibly if there is one that you wanted to get, what the difference would be in the different scenarios. So in the dark, obviously, I think the Onyx Black looks amazing and is the more crisp and clear one to read. However, the Aurora Sky, man, there's just something about holding it and picking it up and rolling it. And honestly, you don't necessarily need to be able to read or see the numbers, which is my wonderful, very good best segue into being able to shine a light <laughs> on the Bluetooth features for these dice. Now, they actually have an iPhone app. I'm being told that an Android one is in the works, but right now they have an iPhone app that you can use, which expands the functionality of these dice tremendously. I'm going to screen record because there's a few things I want to be able to show you down the line that are just hard to see on camera when I'm holding the app in hand. There are a bunch of different pre-made 
made lighting patterns for you to choose from if you want to just go ahead and load one in without doing any customization. This way you can have one die that will match all your characters because all of the different colors can just be changed right here in the app and it's super easy to preview them and see what the different effects do and it's extremely fast to load these different profiles on. Whenever you find a profile that you like all you have to do is go to activate profile and then you click on whichever set of dice that you want to change that profile on over to and you can see here there's no speed up to this footage that's just how quick it is now the die changes and instead of having that different pulse of color now it kind of flashes and crackles like electricity so if my character or the scenario were in changes in my tabletop game I can change that stuff on the fly very quickly it doesn't have to just be lights either if you have some vision impairment issues you can have it speak whatever number you roll out loud 10 4 Five. Or if you're just dumb and drop your die under the table all the time like I do, that helps too. 20. No way, it actually got a 20? That's crazy. What? <laughs> See, I could have missed that. That would have been crazy. Boom. 20. No way! Holy sh**! Or say you don't like any of the pre-made profile stuff, it's super easy to go ahead and add and customize your own. You can take any of the colors or any of the lighting effects that you like and add them on any individual number. You can also add all the different sounds for the different numbers that you'd like in there, and there's even some other cool sounds, and I'm sure you can do some custom ones in there as well. All you gotta do is name your profile, you know, something inconspicuous, and I think I've created the absolute perfect profile for me. So go absolutely nuts with the customization, but I gotta tell you, I'm not even done with the crazy features yet. This one is my absolute favorite of the features. As a D&D streamer, I can connect my die right to roll 20, and whatever I roll on the table, it will roll in roll 20 for me. I'm also being told that this is going to be added as Twitch functionality for streamers as well. This is all open source code from what I'm being told, so everything that people want can just be added as long as people are willing to help make those kind of changes to these dice. There's a ton of extra functionality for these things that can easily be created. For example, they show that you can not only roll them, you can have the rolls be adjusted by the hit modifier for your Dungeons and Dragons character on roll 20. And for those of you asking, are they balanced? They did a 10,000 roll balance test and you can see the results, which I'm sure they will post, but I'm doing a quick little time lapse of them here. And by the way, I totally need that machine. And it may seem like I've been overly gushy towards these dice and that's because I have been. These are my favorite dice, Dunzo, period. I absolutely love them, and I'm so sad that I have to give this preview set back. But that's okay. Jean is actually a friend of mine, so we're going to get to do a lot of stuff here together on the channel. For example, he's going to be selling the guts that are inside these die for people who want to have the functionality of these dice, but make their own shells to go around them, and I cannot wait to be doing some of that stuff here on the channel. But I think that's all I really need to say about these absolute game changer dice. If you want a link to the Kickstarter. It's in the description of this video down below. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you might want to see some more DIY dice content, or if you want to see how we're going to customize these bad boys in the future when I get those guts. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it. I love to hear that too. Thanks again to Jean for letting me see these dice early, and I hope that you all have a fantastic day.